What's going on guys and welcome back for another Madden 23 Falcons franchise gameplay. For those of you that are new to the channel man, go ahead and do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button. I post a lot of franchise gameplays here on the channel and I would hate for you guys to miss out on a single episode. But for those of you who have been following this Falcons franchise for a while now, we are now in week number 15, getting ready to take on our rivals, the New Orleans Saints. I've been anticipating this matchup for a while now, ever since we lost to them in week number one by a score of 40-13. to 13. That is not the same Falcons team that you see today. That's not the same Falcons team that is currently 10-3 and and leading the division. So it's time to let the Saints know, like, hey, that was just a fluke, man. It's time for the real deal game this time around. Only thing is, I wish we were had a little bit more momentum heading into this game. As you see, we are currently on a losing streak after losing that our last matchup to the Pittsburgh Steelers. And, and just going to be honest, man, that game... I don't know how to explain it, man. The Steelers just literally shut down everything and anything that we tried to do. Our offense had zero movement at all. Cordell Patterson didn't even have 50 yards rushing. So I'm hoping that was just like a little fluke. We won't see anything like that again. Honestly, we shouldn't see a defensive line like that again unless we make it to the Super Bowl. But anyways, on to today's opponent, the New Orleans Saints. Jameis Winston is going to be the starting quarterback for this unit. He has had a year with these interceptions, man. 13 touchdowns to 21 interceptions. Alvin Kamara is a problem. He was a problem last time when we matched up, so we're going to have to try to do our best to slow him down. Chris Olave, Michael Thomas are going to be the leading receivers on the team. Michael Thomas is just really going to be a hard matchup because he's just so freaking tall. Last time we matched up against the Saints, he had a lot of jump balls to Michael Thomas where he just got lucky. Defensive-wise, Cameron Jordan is going to be the only guy that we're going to have to worry about double teaming. So let's go ahead and get to the field and see if we can beat the Saints. We are live from the Superdome and ready to bring you a classic NFC South matchup between the Atlanta Falcons and the New Orleans Saints. Both teams are fighting for control in the division and this matchup will go a long way in determining who takes the crown. The Saints will be getting the ball first as Alvin Kamara lets that ball bounce to the back of the end zone. First down and 10 from the 25 yard line, Kamara gets his number called. He hits the sideline, Kamara's loose, he's across midfield, he's at the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5 out. Alvin Kamara wasted no time. He takes that one 75 yards into the end zone and puts the Saints up. What a way to start the game off to get the seven point lead. And man, sometimes I just hate this game, man. I felt like I had the angle there with Jalen Hawkins. And then next thing I know, out of nowhere, Alvin Kamara got a speed boost and he was gone. Suddenly Jalen Hawkins just looked so slow. But now it's time for the Falcons to come out onto the field and see if they can answer with points of their own. We're going to be starting first down to 10 from the 17 yard line. Desmond Ritter looks to throw this on the RPO to Alan Lazard. It's going to be, be a completion, but a loss of a yard on the play. Backs is up to the 16-yard line. Ritter back to throw one more time. It goes right back to Lazard. Has the completion, this time getting positive yards as he works his way up to the 35-yard line. First down and 10 from there. Desmond Ritter looks and hands this ball off to Cordell Patterson, who finds some open room. Breaks a tackle there. Tyron Matthew ends up getting a nice gain of eight yards on his first carry of the day. Second down and short here for Desmond Ritter. Looking to go deep downfield for Justin Ross into double coverage. And whew, Justin Ross almost got his head taken off there by the linebacker. Big third down and two. Need a conversion here. Desmond Ritter throwing. That ball's going to be intercepted by Marshawn Lattimore. Sleep at the wheel. I don't know why he threw in the double coverage. Marshawn Lattimore is able to return this ball up to the 40-yard line, and the Saints have a great opportunity to go up two scores early in this game. Winston back to throw. Feeling a little bit of pressure. Going for Michael Thomas. He's got him. Michael Thomas run after catch. Gets his ball all the way down to the one-yard line. Huge gain of 39 yards on his first catch catch of the day. First down and goal situation here for the Saints. They hand the ball off to Alvin Kamara and he had not a single chance at all as a whole host of Falcons stop him three yards behind the line of scrimmage. Second down and goal. Ball's tipped. It's going to be intercepted by Hayward. What a play by the Falcons defense to step up and get a hand on the ball. And hey, Desmond Ritter, count your blessings right there because on that interception he threw we actually had Cordell Patterson wide open on the wheel route. Just did not see him for whatever reason. Call it pressure or whatever. But it's now second down and seven 
seven from the nine yard line with a redemption drive here. Ritter looks to hand this ball off to Cordell Patterson. The blocking's great. Finds some open room. Tyra Matthews ends up slowing him down at the 22 yard line. Nice gain on the play. Gets the first down for Cordell Patterson. Right back to the ground attack. Coming first down and 10 with a little bit of a counter run. But the Saints defense, man, they just completely obliterated our offensive line. Pushed them into the backfield. We were lucky to get a yard out of that run. Second down and nine. We end up finding Cordell Patterson in the flats. Ends up picking up the first down as he gets to the 34 yard line. First down and 10 yet again for this Falcons offense. Still searching for their first points of the day. Kyle Pitts getting involved in the game. He gets his first catch. Goes across midfield to the 46 yard line. That was the kind of route that we tried to hit him on on that interception. But again, he, he was double covered as, oh my goodness, the pressure gets through one more time. Cameron Jordan gets his first sack of the day. Losing 12 yards on the play. Second down and 22 from the 42 yard line for Desmond Ritter. Making some changes here at the line of scrimmage. Putting Cordell Patterson back on the wheel route just in case they leave it again. But hey, they left everything wide open in the middle of the field. Justin Ross has the catch, breaks a couple tackles, and gets right back across the midfield mark to the 45-yard line. Third down to eight is a lot more manageable than it was before. looking before. Quick throw here by Ritter. He's intercepted again, this time by Tyrant Matthew. This Saints defense is just keying in on the fact that we love to throw the ball on third down to Kyle Pitts. I mean, he's our best receiver on, this field, on the field by far, so of course we're going to try to get him involved. But man, we got to stop throwing so many interceptions. Two drives, both ending in interceptions, and we almost got it right back there with A.J. Terrell and beautiful coverage on Michael Thomas. Now third down to eight, a chance to get off the field. Winston, with all the time in the world, goes deep downfield, has a man, Chris Olave, but he ends up dropping the ball. Isaiah Oliver with the beautiful coverage, able to jar that ball loose. And man, just shout out to the defense for keeping us in this game right now, just allowing Desmond Ritter the time to find his footing in this one. And look at Cordero Patterson with the footwork, ends up finding his way all the way up to the 36-yard line on the return. Luckily, he had a chance for a lot more. But all right, we started the game off with two interceptions. Let's go ahead and play it smart. We're going to keep this ball on the ground here with Cordell Patterson. Ball's on the ground, recovered by the Saints. He's stumbling forward and is going to be pushed out of bounds at the 22-yard line. We just cannot catch a break. If we're not throwing interception with Desmond Ritter, we're fumbling with Cordell Patterson. The Saints now have the ball at the 17-yard line inside the red zone. Second down and five. Handoff goes to Alvin Kamara. Looking for some running room off the left side. Is able to find three yards as he gets down to the 14-yard line. Third down and short play action fake here. Winston under pressure. Ends up finding Jarvis Landry wide open in the back of the end zone. And the Saints have... Finally caught up two scores. I mean, with the way the game has gone so far with those two interceptions, we should be down so much more at this point. So, again, shout out to our defense for keeping us in things. But offense, man, we got to wake up at some point and get things going. We're going to go ahead and take a knee with Cordell Patterson just in case. And somehow Malik Walker was injured. I didn't even notice that injury happening when it did. But... Okay, man, whatever it is. Second down and one from the 34-yard line. Desmond Ritter back on the field, looking to lead his team down the field because we don't want this game getting out of hand. Ends up finding Kyle Pitts in the middle of the field. First down, gains up to the 46-yard line. Timeout here from the New Orleans Saints. They did not like the matchup that we had out on the field. First down and 10, we're going to go right back to the ground attack here with Cordell Patterson. He's loose into the secondary, across the 40, across the 30, fighting his way all the way down to the 27-yard line. Cordell Patterson found a little bit of room and just made the most out of it. First down throw here for Desmond Ritter. He's able to sneak that ball past Marshawn Lattimore, and Alan Lazar is able to take this all the way down to the three-yard line. First down and goal situation for the Atlanta Falcons handoff goes to the fullback. It's a fullback dive here for Keith Smith. He ends up getting into the end zone for his first touchdown of the year. And let's just hope that that score there helps knock off the rust that the Falcons offense definitely came into this matchup with. Because it took us four drives to finally get into the end zone. That is not ideal, especially with those other three drives ending in turnovers. But now it's time for our defense to come back out on the field. Can they get another stop here before halftime and then get the ball right back to the offense to allow us to hopefully tie the game up. As there goes Alvin Kamara again, dancing on the long that sideline, getting a gain of 20 yards up to the 45 yard line. Second down and 10. Handoff goes to Alvin Kamara. He's showing his power as he pushes another Falcons defender across the midfield mark to the opposite 49 yard line. Five seconds now left on the clock before the two minute warning. Second down. Winston looking to throw downfield. That ball's going to be intercepted by Richie Grant. Richie Grant is off on the return. Looks like he's going to get this ball all the way back up to the 40 yard line. And there's another stop by our Falcons defense. And man, what is up with these injuries? Grady Jarrett is now injured. 
injured. He's definitely not going to come back into this game. Says he's a high risk. So we're going to have to see how that's going to affect this game moving forward. First down and 10 after the turnover. Looking to take a shot downfield for Drake London. And Desmond Ritter is lucky he did not throw his third interception of the day. Second out of 10, we go with the ground attack here with Cordell Patterson. And the Saints defense is ready for him, stopping him for just a gain of a yard. They call their second and three timeouts just with one remaining. Desmond Ritter looking to throw. Can't find anybody. Takes off with it. Hits and the ball is on the ground. Oh, my goodness. We look like the bad news bears out here. We're the, we're the bad news Falcons. We just cannot consistently put a drive together. That drive after the turnover was just hideous, man. We just couldn't get anything going. We could not move the ball at all. Shout out to the Saints defense on that drive. But, man, we just got to do better on offense, man. Just period. First down and 10 after the punt with another chance with one timeout. Alva Kamara, unfortunately, does not get out of bounds for the Saints. That's going to force Jameis Winston to call hurry up offense here first down to 10 from the 36 yard line with 40 seconds left in the second quarter it's going to be another handoff to Alvin Kamara and he's going to be stopped pretty quickly at the line of scrimmage I don't not sure what's up with that play call there from the, the Saints I mean if you're trying to hurry to get in the end zone you definitely got to throw the ball Winston looking to throw here and Lorenzo Carter gets to him down goes Jameis Winston and the Falcons are actually going to call one of their timeouts look to see if they can get the ball back to at least sneak in a field goal it's now third down 11 for Jameis Winston making some changes at the line of scrimmage looking to throw takes off hit as he released it and somehow has enough on it to get that ball all the way downfield to Marquise Callaway and it's going to be a first down at the 18 yard line and instead of us sneaking in the field goal Will Lutz is able to come onto the field and put the Saints up 10 points as we get ready to head into the halftime break what a ugly first half of football for the Falcons man we're definitely still seeing the effects of that game against the Steelers our offense is just not there right now man I don't know we're just like it's still like shell shock guys just aren't performing making horrible reads with Desmond Ritter having wide open guys and we're still throwing it into double coverage so we're going to look to bounce back here man got to try to get things right there's still a whole nother half of football to turn things around and it's not looking good it was we try to start things out with a running game with Cordell Patterson goes nowhere second out of 10 Ritter back to throw goes right back to Cordell Patterson underneath but a quick tackle there is able to stop him for a game of just four yards third down to six Ritter has a nice pocket looking to throw for Lazard and he got bumped on his route and man anything that could go wrong is going wrong right now as Desmond Ritter has now thrown his third interception and the Saints take over with possession of the ball damn near in the red zone and they're in the end zone and after one play Michael Thomas makes a nice catch there on a post route gets into the end zone and helps them increase their lead a little bit oh my gosh I don't know what was going on with Will Lutz on that kick there but he shanked that one wide right I'm perfectly fine with him keeping points off the board just allows us the time to come back into the game but can our offense do it is the question we've only entered the end zone one time and really that was like an uncharacteristic drive for us to get into the end zone you hardly ever see us do go to like the full back full back dive that was just really out of desperation there first down and 10 after a nice scramble there by Desmond Ritter looking to throw here on first down ends up finding Kyle Pitts and this is what we got to do a lot more of man getting our stars involved in the, in the game Cordell Patterson and Kyle Pitts we've been getting Kyle Pitts or Cordell Patterson involved in the game but look at Justin Ross getting his number called also as he gets all the way across the midfield mark down to the 29 yard line first down and 10 from there Desmond Ritter looking to throw again has time in the pocket throwing underneath to Justin Ross again makes a nice reception underneath gets a nice gain of seven yards on first down leads to a second down and three Ritter steps up in the pocket firing for Kyle Pitts a nice throw perfectly timed ball gets Kyle Pitts all the way down to the two yard line hurry up offense here trying to catch the Saints off guard and they're going to go ahead and call one of their timeouts that could potentially become a big timeout if um, we're actually able to get things going on first down and goal we go right back to the fullback dive and this time Smith is going nowhere as the uh, Saints defense was ready for him they, they're not going to let that happen again second down and goal from the one yard line handoff goes to the running back Algier he's able to get right back to the line of scrimmage at the one yard line third down and goal from the one hurry up offense yet again can we punch this one into the end zone right back to the fullback dive and Keith Smith says you know what you stopped me that last time you're not going to stop me again he gets into the end zone for his second touchdown we're going to go for the two-point conversion and what a throw there by Desmond Ritter able to find Drake London that two-point conversion there was huge as that cuts the Saints lead down to eight points just a one possession game technically we'll have to go for two again if we're able to get into the end zone but first and foremost we're looking for our defense to come out and get another stop for us to allow our offense the chance to tie the game up first down and 10 handoff goes to Alvin Kamara and we're doing a great start there stopping him for just a gain of a yard on the play on first down going right back to Alvin Kamara here on second down 
Calvin Kamara just showing so much fight, so much grit. Gets them just two yards shy of the first down marker. Third down and two. Jameis Winston looking to throw. Has Alvin Kamara wide open underneath. Alvin Kamara into the open space, getting past Isaiah Oliver. He's gone into the end zone. Another Saints touchdown. That score there is going to put them up by 14 points. And the kick from Will Lutz this time is going to be up and good. The Saints now have a 15 point lead late in the third quarter. And this puts a lot more pressure on our Falcons offense, man. It's pretty much, if not almost, it already does take away the run game. We're really going to have to go heavy on the passing attack here with Desmond Ritter to hurry up and try to get back in this game. We just got to hope our offensive line can hold Cameron Jordan and just not allow him to go crazy like they did for TJ Watt last week. As look at that catch there, completion there on the sideline to Kyle Pitts. Not sure exactly if he got his feet down in bounds, but no challenge from the uh, Saints as we almost throw another interception there with Desmond Ritter. Would have been our fourth of the day. Desmond Ritter back to throw here on second down and 10 and just not on the same page with his receivers. Drake Lennon late to turn his head on that one. Could have easily had a first down and a whole lot more. Third down and 10 though, we ended up connecting with Alan Lazard. A beautiful throw there by Desmond Ritter. He has throws like that sometimes where you're just like, wow, this guy is just amazing. And then he has other throws that are just like, what are you thinking? And right here he's thinking, hey, I'm going to take off with this one myself. I'm not going to risk throwing anything. Picks up the first down to the 32-yard line. Last play here of the third quarter. Going to Alan Lazard complete in the middle of the field. And Lazard takes a shot but holds on to the ball. We're going to be inside the red zone here for our first snap of the first uh, fourth quarter. Ritter looking for the end zone for Justin Ross. And that one's going to be thrown a little bit too high out of his reach. It's second down from the 18-yard line. Ritter back to throw again. Has time. Cameron Jordan's coming loose. He's going to get rid of that pass quickly. It's going to be complete to Justin Ross, but only for a gain of three yards on the play. We need to get into the end zone. It's third down. Going for Kyle Pitts, and that ball is going to be intercepted by Marcus Mays. Ritter throws another interception. His fourth or fifth of the day. I don't know. Just way too, one too many interceptions for Desmond Ritter. That one hurts the most because we were inside the red zone, man. We had points get re getting ready to be up on the board, and he just threw them away. We're going to be backed up now to a first down and 11 after the whole penalty is called on the Saints. They go right back to the ground attack here with Alvin Kamara. He just continues to eat. Alvin Kamara, 11 carries for 122 yards on the day. He's done it all in the passing game and the rushing game. We're able to stop him this time behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of, loss of three yards on the play. Third down and six, a chance to get off the field. Winston hit as he released it. That ball's going to be tipped up by Howard and it's going to be incomplete. That play right there definitely had me on the edge of my seat because I definitely thought that the receiver is going to have a second opportunity to catch the ball because, you know, it would have just gone perfectly with the way that this game has gone for me so far. An ugly game and just anything that could go wrong would go wrong. First down here for Desmond Ritter. He's actually going to hand the ball off to Cordell Patterson. Patterson's able to find some running room as he gets across the 30-yard line. He's going to be pushed out of bounds at the 27. I know I said the run game is not really that important, couldn't really be involved in this game right now at this point, but hey, if we're able to get out of bounds, the run game is more than available. First down and goal now from the six-yard line after a nice catch there by uh, Alan Lazar. Jet sweep here for Demir Bird. Try to get around the corner, and yeah, Cameron Jordan just not allowing that to happen at all. Losing three yards on the play. It's second down and goal. Ritter throwing for the end zone for Kyle Pitts. He comes down with this one this time. Kyle Pitts is able to get into the end zone and cut into this lead for the uh, New Orleans Saints. This field goal here from Young Way Koo is going to make it an eight-point game again. And you know what? It's really something to say that we're still in this game, man. If we're just one defensive stop away from tying this game up, and it's crazy because we we have clearly lost the turnover battle in this game. We've thrown five interceptions with Desmond Ritter. We've fumbled the ball once with Cordell Patterson, and we still find ourselves in this game. A defensive stop away from getting this ball back and tying things up. Second down and 11 from the 30-yard line. Winston's going to hand this ball off to Alvin Kamara, who has just been cooking all day long. Gets a nice gain there. Gets him to a third down to four from the 37-yard line. Handoff goes to Alvin Kamara again. Has the first down as he just powers through. Jalen Hawkins gets up to the 44-yard line. Two-minute warning is now here, and the Falcons' defense needs a stop. Quick throw here, and the flats is going to be complete to Chris Olave, only for a gain of two yards on the play. Second down to eight from the 46-yard line. Pressure's coming through. Winston's hit as he released it, and that's going to be completion to Colin Johnson. Oh my gosh, even when we get to Jameis Winston and hit him, he still has enough strength to get the ball all the way downfield for a 15-yard plus completion, and there goes Alvin Kamara running away with the rest of our hopes and dreams of a comeback in this one. And it's pretty much just going to put this game away at this point as the field goal is up and good. The Saints go right back up by 15 points with under two minutes left and only one timeout. 
the best thing that we can do for ourselves is just make the score look a little little bit better. And maybe go on an offensive drive to get into the end zone and just, I don't know, man, just have something to build on for when we get ready to play the Ravens next week, man. Because this is just ridiculous at this point. Uh, second down to inches now from the 35-yard line. Wins, uh, Ritter stepping up in the pocket. Ends up finding Kyle Pitts, who was headed for that sideline, but we knew that he definitely was not going to get there. So we're going to go hurry up offense here. We're not going to call that last time out just yet. Hurry up here from the 45-yard line. Ritter back to throw. Quick throw for Justin Ross in the middle of the zone. Ritter throws a dot there across midfield to the 39-yard line. Another hurry up off this play here for the Falcons. Snap is away. Desmond Ritter has time looking for Alan Lazard across the middle of the field. Makes the connection there, and we're going to go ahead and call our final timeout right there with 27 seconds left. Look to see if we can get into the end zone here. Ritter taking a shot. Justin Ross is wide open. Gets into the end zone. I mean, it makes the score look a little bit better. Does not do anything with our comeback efforts unless we're able to get a two-point conversion here and maybe get an onside kick going. But Ritter ends up throwing an interception. And, yeah, that's going to do it right there. A nine-point game. It's still a two-score game for us. And we're going to go for the onside kick regardless with Young Way Koo. Anything's possible. But Chris Olave has the recovery and goes down with the ball at the 47-yard line. And that's pretty much going to do it for the rest of the game here. The Saints could easily just run the rest of this clock out. Alvin Kamara is definitely not going to fumble the ball as we're trying to rake, rake at it and everything. But, yeah, that's just going to be the end of things, man. The Saints have officially done it. They had the clean sweep of our Atlanta Falcons here in the first year of this Falcons franchise. And that's probably going to secure them the uh, NFC South Conference or NFC South Division, I mean. So it is what it is, man. We just had way too many turnovers in the game. So leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe for more Falcons franchise gameplays. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. They knew how they wanted to execute, and they did it with confidence and a little bit of verve as well. So for the Saints...